So when people apply to come here in Holy Family, uh, one of the questions that we always ask them in the interview, we ask them, well, we want to find out if this person is able to live in community. Because living in community obviously is an essential part of what we do because we do it actually 24 24 7 24 6 uh, most of the week anyway we're 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 here and most of them are sharing rooms and all of that so community life is very very important community life is very very interesting it's a very very good teacher uh, you can learn so much about yourself and so much about others there are people who after they've passed through the house you can tell you can tell uh, like I remember around Christmas last, Christmas of last year there were people making Christmas gifts for each other and stuff. So when they passed through, you'd find chisels and bits of wood and drawings and pencils on the path that they walked through the house. Like, it's like this stuff was just falling off them. Or occasion, like, on occasion, you walk into like, uh, a bathroom after someone and there's towels and clothes and everything all up in a heap. Or it works in the, the opposite way as well, where at times uh, someone, a particular person is on kitchen cleaner and you walk in and the place is pristine you feel so bad just walking in there because everything is just so immaculate and symmetrical and arranged according to height and color you know it's just everything is just amazing right so we can learn so much about each other uh, uh, through through community life and we can see each other's if you will fingerprints in the house you know we can see each other's the the imprint that each person leaves uh, in the house after after they've left everyone leaves something hopefully they don't we're still finding bits of, of Luke, actually, from year one. <laughs> to come to think of it, uh, he had oh lord, he had so many books and photo albums and stuff. They're still turning up. Um, but yeah, so everyone leaves uh, some sort of an imprint in the house, some sort of an imprint in, in each other's lives. What I wanted to reflect on today is that as we look at uh, our individual journey, the last, if you want to, maybe, if you just keep in mind, maybe the last three, four months, six months of your journey. Can you see, or have you even ever taken the time to see or find or identify the fingerprints of God in your journey? The traces, the signs of the presence of God in your journey. I remember watching an episode of, of, of Sherlock, actually, and uh, he went off on a mad tangent about the importance of identifying footprints, a person's footprint, you know, and judging by the size of the, the, the gate, as it's called, the, the, the size of the step, and the in-turning, out-turning of, of the feet and the, if they fall in arches or whatever it is, you can tell an awful lot <coughs> from a person just by, their, by, just by their footprints. Recognizing the Lord's footprints or fingerprints in our lives, I think, is so, so, so important because the, the, the danger is that we recognize the blessing of the good moments. So when things go well and when you succeed and when all goes according to plan and according to your expectations, then we recognize the blessings. That's great. God got me through this. God got me out of that. God, it was fantastic. Uh, recognizing the Lord's presence there isn't so hard. Recognizing the Lord's presence in adversity or failure or uh, difficult moments, that's, that's much, much more difficult. Uh, I mean, I often think of, of that line from Job, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, blessed be the name of the Lord. So to be able to say, when the Lord gives me something, blessed be the name of the Lord, not hard. To be able to say, when the Lord takes something away, blessed be the name of the Lord. To be able to say in a moment when you just feel completely overwhelmed or insignificant or uh, unable or a failure or you know unable to, to get yourself out of this hole, to say in those moments, blessed be the name of the Lord. And the power of praise in the storm, I think, is, is, is it's incredible. Something I think we, so many of us really, me too, really need to rediscover. The power of praising the Lord in the storm. The power of recognizing his presence also in the, in, in the dark moments, in the difficult moments. There's something so, so uh, deep, there's something so much deeper about that kind of a relationship with the Lord. When I can see him also, and when I can see his hand, his providence also in, in the difficult moments. Because often I think in hindsight, when you look back, 
at something you were struggling with a year or two ago or six months ago, whenever it was. And you see how in the struggle, I learned to pray. In the struggle, I started praying novenas. In the struggle, uh, I started calling on the Lord's help or I started confiding in, in a good friend or something good came from it that has formed you. There's, there's so much to be, to be gleaned, to be, to be uh, learned from, from recognizing the Lord's presence, especially in, in the more challenging moments of our lives. It's a meditation that was very, very popular back when I was a youth. Uh, but uh, Footprints in the Sand, you might have heard of it. But I'll finish with that today. One night a man had a dream. He dreamt he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand one belonging to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there's only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, My son, my precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. May we recognize the Lord's footprints in our lives. May we recognize what we have learned from those difficult moments. May we recognize how he has carried us. And may we give all the glory to God. Amen.